Hello, hello. Today we will do a stretch focused on our hamstrings. Please make sure that you are already warmed up before you start this. I just posted a workout, not a workout, a warm up last week, and I have a couple of them on my channel, so I'll link them down below and one up in the cards. Make sure your muscles are warm. This is gonna be hamstring focused, but we will of course, stretch other parts of our body just by default, it kind of happens. So you're more than welcome to kind of do your own little stretches after this or use one of my other stretch routines after this. So like I said, this is hamstring focus. So for those of you that are trying to get things like leg holds, you're just trying to improve your extensions, this will hopefully help with that. Keep in mind that Yes, you will get more flexible by stretching, but you still need strength to be able to hold different positions. So don't think that this is your one and done. You can just do these stretches and suddenly you'll be able to have like beautiful leaps and extensions. You still need strength. Just wanna put that out there. I'm also gonna take you through a quick little exercise, which I've shown once on my channel, I know before, and it's to help with a nerve that goes through the backs of your legs, which I'm not gonna go into detail about right now. But if you find that you're hamstrings are always super tight and you don't know what to do this little trick this little exercise might help a little bit it's called nerve gliding or nerve flossing sometimes people call it so we'll do that if you don't think that you need that feel free to skip ahead I'll put the timestamps down below if you want to jump right into the stretch but let's go ahead and start with the nerve gliding so what you're gonna to want to do is lay on your back bring one leg up into the air and you're gonna first Flex the foot as hard as you can. As you're flexing the foot, I want you to look up and in at your belly button. Then I want you to point the foot and you're gonna look behind you. Make sure that you're not just looking up, you're looking all the way back at the wall behind you as you point the foot. And then we're gonna go back to step one. So we flex and look at the belly button and then we point and look back. And I just want you to take your own time here and repeat this process. So looking up and in, pointing and looking back, flexing as hard as you can, looking all the way behind you. You want to do this maybe 10 to 15 times. Now this will not be the cure all for everyone, but I know that it does help. If you find that your hamstrings are really tight, it might just be some nerve pain because our nerves are trying to protect us when we stretch. They don't want us stretching because it makes us, puts us in a vulnerable position basically. So give me two more of these and then we'll switch to the other side. Actually, before we switch, put the leg down for just a second and then try and bring your leg up and a little bit in towards you and just give it a light stretch. Okay, other side now. Go ahead and do this in your own time. I'll stop talking. So just remember when you flex your foot, your toes are coming towards you and you're looking up and in. I like to think nose to toes and then point and look back. Do about three more. Last one. Okay, drop it down and then lightly bring it in and stretch it up. See if that does anything for you. <laughs> Obviously we have nothing to compare it to because we didn't bring it up and in in the first place, but um, it should help a little bit to loosen up that leg. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the stretch. So I want you to actually stand back up and we're gonna do just your classic reach up and over, all the way down. 
my feet are just underneath my shoulders basically a little wider than that actually just letting my head hang heavy my neck be nice and long be sure that you are breathing so taking deep breaths in through your belly well through your nose but expanding your belly I want you to take a little bend in your knees and then straighten. Let's do that again. Take a small bend in your knees and straighten. And I want you to walk over to one leg. My feet are still facing forward. This should stretch kind of the outside of that leg, not straight behind your leg, but a little bit to the outside. I think it feels really nice. Just make sure that your feet stay pointed forward and that's how you'll feel this. Now go ahead and bend the leg that's opposite of the one that you're in front of right now. So if you're on your left leg, you're gonna bend the right. If you're on your right leg, bend the left. And then as you straighten, I want you to try and stay deep into that stretch. And then we'll do that one more time. So bend that opposite leg. Try and pull your body closer to the leg you're on. And then as you straighten, try and keep it there. Okay, let's go over to our other leg now. Just keep hanging nice and heavy. I want you to bend the opposite leg. And straighten. And then again, bend. Pull yourself closer to that leg if you can. And then try and stay there as you straighten. Okay, let's come back to the center now. Just keep hanging. If you've done any of my stretch routines before, you know that this is a common sequence. <laughs> I really like just hanging like this. So as usual, let's go ahead and walk our hands through our legs. And if you can't do this, you can hold on to your ankles. Now take a bend in both of those legs. Try and walk your hands a little bit further back and then straighten your legs. See if you can pull yourself closer down to the floor or towards your legs. And we will do that one more time. So bend, walk it back, and straighten. My feet are sliding on this mat. I need a new mat, you guys. This is not cutting it. Okay, I want you to walk your feet in toward each other. So you're, they're coming all the way in. And then same here, just let your head hang nice and heavy. Don't try and like crank your neck upward. <laughs> just let it relax over and see how close you can get to your legs. Now go ahead and bend one knee, just one. Let the other one stay straight. And this should feel really good or maybe bad if you don't like this feeling, but you should feel that stretch in the straight leg. You should feel it in your hamstring and probably your calf too. Just 
stay nice and relaxed. You can just breathe through it. And go ahead and switch. Bend the other leg, straighten the other leg. Okay, now straighten both legs. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side so that it's easier on my mat and you guys can see me. But now I want you to walk your hands out. You might need to walk your feet back a little bit as well, depending on where you are positioned. And we'll just stay in this downward dog for a moment. My hands are slipping. If you want to alternate bending one leg, you can do that. Just like we just did in that pike position, but in downward dog. So one straight, one bent. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a seat down on the floor and bring one leg out in front, keeping the other one bent and have your back nice and flat here. Don't round your spine and curl over. Like you don't wanna be like this. You wanna have a nice long flat spine, long neck, head is in line. And then just try and work yourself forward, see if you can put your hands down. If you can't, you can rest hands on your leg, but I want you to try and keep that flat back and go down as far as you can with the flat back. So it might be hands on the floor, it might be hands on the leg. So I have my front foot all the way down right now, flat on the floor, but I want you to go ahead and pull it up and flex it now. Okay, from here now, you don't have to keep your back flat. I just want you to try and reach as close as you can down to that leg. So if you need to round it a little bit, around that spine a little bit, that's okay. Whatever you wanna do to fill the stretch. Alrighty, let's go ahead and sit back on that back leg. And we're gonna basically do the same thing, but our foot will be flexed the whole time. So nice flat back, walk yourself as far forward as you can. Okay, let's take it one step further and we'll go into a jazz split. So you're gonna bring that back leg back behind you into an attitude. Front leg is straight, making sure that both of your hips are facing straight forward. And go ahead and reach over if you can. And if not, just stay upright. If you want to try and do the same thing we were just doing with the flat back, that might be a good option for you if this is too advanced. Okay, 
Okay. Now we gotta go all the way back to the beginning with the other leg. So however you wanna get up and over to your other side, I'm gonna turn so that it's easier to see me. We're gonna bring one leg in front, put it flat on the floor, flat back over. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my foot now, pick up my toes and flex that foot. Okay, let's sit all the way back now. Same thing as the other side. I think you know the drill. A few more seconds here. Nice deep breaths. Okay, let's sit all the way into our jaw split. And reach forward. lay down onto your back and choose a leg to bring up and in. I'm gonna go with my left leg first. So I'm gonna just straighten it up. I'm grabbing onto the back of my calf slash ankle and I'm gently pulling it in towards me. I have historically not been too flexible in this area. That's why I'm working on it with you guys. So I want you to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, see if you can pull that leg a little bit closer in while keeping it nice and straight. Don't want that knee bend. that again. Breathe in. Breathe out and pull it in a little closer. You can keep that bottom leg straight or bent. If you're keeping it straight out, just make sure that the hip stays on the floor. Okay, we're going to do the inhale, exhale one last time. Make this one count. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, pull that leg in. All right, and relax. We're gonna do the other leg now. 
straighten it up. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring it a little closer. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, Bring it a little closer. All right, one more time. Deep breath in. Pull it in a little bit closer. and relax. All right, you guys, we're gonna finish it off by sitting straight up and reaching over our toes. You of course can go into your splits after this, but I would do a little bit more to warm up your hips if that's your choice. I hope this helped open up your hamstrings a little bit. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos pretty much every single week and sometimes more, like right now I'm doing a little three week challenge. So this week's flexibility, next week is technique week after that is combos and what's the other thing? Conditioning. So make sure to subscribe if all of that sounds like fun to you and I hope to have you back for another video. Bye!